I'm Jason Chase. I'm the production director on Hearthstone. Jason, what's it been like seeing this expansion release over these last few weeks? It's been awesome. I mean, there's been a great response to Knights of the Frozen Throne. We're seeing all kinds of new decks emerging. Uh, we're very happy to see the Death Knights starting to show up a lot in the meta. Uh, the other thing that we did with this particular expansion is that we released a whole new set of free missions. So we've been seeing a lot of folks going up against all the various bosses and minions that are lurking within Ice Crown Citadel. And the final mission uh, will launch tomorrow. So we're very excited to see how that goes as well. So have you seen, like, go elaborate more on the decks you've kind of seen evolve? Because in this card game, the meta is always ever-changing. Yeah, definitely. So we've seen uh, pretty much all the Death Knights have actually seen some amount of play. You know, I think there's been a lot of popular play through the Frostlich Jaina. We've certainly seen Druid get, get a fair amount of play. But, you know, uh, right before we launched, there was a lot of excitement around Uther and seeing what his you know new, new win condition of bringing the four horsemen out to try and trigger it. There was excitement around that to see how that was going to play. So overall, we're kind of in that really fun state post-launch where people are still trying to figure out what's the best way to design these decks. And, um, you know, people have been really jazzed about the Lich King himself as a card and sort of seeing him bring out new Death Knight cards and the spectacle that happens when he lands in play and kind of wipes the board with his big blizzard effect. So overall, pretty good response. So some of the communities were I mean, obviously you guys had, you know, the Death Knights, but you guys didn't introduce actually a new class, um, you know, per se, out of the gate. Can you talk about that decision and what goes into making a new class and why you chose to just do the kind of Death Knight card? Yeah, it's a good question. So we, uh, when we first were thinking about, we've known for a long time that we wanted to bring uh, Northrend and Ice Crown Citadel and basically the Lich King into Hearthstone. Uh, it's one of the very classic pieces of Warcraft lore and a very iconic location and sort of super tragic iconic bad guy. So for sure we were going to bring it all in, but we thought about what's the right way to do it. First of all, Hearthstone is kind of a lighthearted, whimsical game, so we wanted to make sure that uh, the representation of the Death Knights was appropriate for the game. But more than that, you know, we feel like we're in a pretty good place with nine classes. Uh, so instead of introducing a new class, we feel like, what if we could just take this cool aspect of Death Knights and apply it to all the classes? How could we really expand in that direction? You know, adding new class is definitely a tricky thing, uh, because now at this point we've got a lot of history in Hearthstone, we've got nine classes that have been there from the beginning, so the whole implications of sort of introducing a bunch of classic cards from a new class, or basic cards, as well as what it would mean for the pack opening experience and having to support ten classes instead of nine, for all these different reasons we felt like it was probably a better direction for us to go down to the path of just bringing the cool aspects of this Death Knight um, persona into all the classes. So when you're making a new expansion such as Nice to Frozen Throne, do you have an emphasis on, you know, control control decks or aggression decks? Is there a certain theme you want in it or is it just kind of you level it all out? So we do actually put in uh, a lot of different tools for the community to figure out how they can push with different types of decks. Certainly we think a lot about aggro, we think a lot about uh, control decks and try to kill, make sure where there's adequate tools to support different types of play. Um, some of the decks we released this time are specifically designed to, or some of the cards I should say are specifically designed to counter sort of different ideas and tactics that we've seen in the past to create new tools for that. And I think in general the meta is probably a little bit slower now than it was in the past. Um, so that'll obviously continue to evolve and shift as the players and the community out there figure out different ways to mix these cards together. So how do you guys work with esports players like Trump to make sure your game is balanced and on a level playing field? So we definitely kind of have, a, have had times where we've brought in influencers to come take a look at the new card set and give us feedback. Um, we also sort of have a lot of folks on the team that have come from that background at different po points as well, and so they actually will weigh in with their expertise. Um, but once it's released, we actually will continue to look at that feedback, and that weighs into, if we do need to make any changes, um, their perspective helps uh, to solidify what those are.